Tiger and Phil headline a blockbuster field at Torrey Pines. Welcome to the latest edition of PGA Tour Today. Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. As the current third and sixth ranked players in the world, Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson make their 2011 PGA Tour season debuts this week at the Farmers Insurance Open outside San Diego. I'll tell you what, Torrey Pines will quickly get their juices flowing. The two stars have combined for 10 victories at the venue. This week marks Tiger's first appearance in the event since 08. His eight shot romp that year capped off a run of four straight titles, cementing his legacy as the most dominant player in tournament history. He's never finished out of the top 10 in 11 career starts, winning six times overall and carding 38 of 43 rounds under par. For good measure, he took the 08 US Open at Torrey as well. Now, memories of that epic duel with Rocco Mediate will be rekindled this week as Tiger and The Rock will be joined in a group by Anthony Kim the first two days. They're off the North Course at noon Eastern on Thursday. About an hour after that, Phil Mickelson begins his week on the tougher and longer South Course. Mickelson, 37th at last week's Abu Dhabi Golf Championship, returns to a venue where he, like Tiger, has thrived. Seven career top fives and three victories, though none in his last nine trips. Phil's part of Thursday's featured group alongside Dustin Johnson and Justin Rose, both multiple winners in 2010. Look for them in Golf Channel's television coverage from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern. Now, along with Johnson and Rose, Ricky Fowler, one of those who leads the tour's new breed, the 2010 Rookie of the Year, is a SoCal kid who finished fifth last year at Torrey. Fowler plays the North Course Thursday at 110 Eastern. This year's early Rookie of the Year candidate, Jonathan Vegas, also playing the North, just in front of Tiger's group, in fact. Last week's Bob Hope Classic champion is the first player from Venezuela to win on the PGA Tour. Bob Stevens covered the action at the Hope for the PGA Tour Network and has made his way from La Quinta to La Jolla this week. Bob? Swanee, the buzz, of course, is all about Tiger and Phil. Tiger coming in, kind of guarded uh, the way he usually does, short answers to questions, very focused on playing well here. Of course, he's won the last five times he has played here at Torrey Pines. Phil, on the other hand, uh, gregarious, laid back, enjoying things. Uh, California cool, if you will. It's going to be California cool this week. The weather is going to be perfect. Low 70s, very little wind here at Torrey Pines. The big story is going to be guys trying to hit the fairways and hit the greens because the rough here is as long and maybe even longer in some spots than it was at the U.S. Open in 2008. It's also a very uneven rough. Guys who hit it off the fairways are going to have some very difficult lies and uneven lies as they play toward these greens. That, of course, does not play into Phil and Tiger's hands. They were in the bottom third on tour last year in green in uh, hitting fairways. So it'll be an interesting test for them. Watch for the guys who can hit the fairways and hit the greens. A score in the single digits could be a winner. That's what Brant Snedeker told me. And, you know, Rocco says, by the way, the rough is even longer on the north course. He called it 14 feet high. You, of course, can hear all the coverage on the PGA Tour Network beginning at 9 a.m. on the West Coast, noon Eastern, and get updates anytime you want, 24-7 on PGATour.com. Swanee? Okay, thank you, Bob. I want to take a moment now to recognize 2007 Masters champion Zach Johnson, the former Drake Bulldog, who was honored Tuesday night by his alma mater. At the Drake Missouri State Hoops game, Johnson was presented with the Double D Award, the highest honor Drake bestows on its former student athletes, given for their achievements and contributions to both their profession and their community after leaving Drake. I think this award, what is, what is really, really cool about it, and what I appreciate about it, and Certainly, uh, it kind of puts things in perspective for me. I feel like, you know what, maybe, maybe my wife and I and Team Johnson, if you are, are doing the right things. It's, it's not just golf. True to his spirit, Zach took $50,000 from last year's Ryder Cup that was earmarked for charity and donated it to Drake. Here's your air times for the Farmers Insurance Open Thursday. The PGA Tour Network has the call at noon Eastern. Golf Channel's telecast begins at 3 p.m. Eastern. 2012 Ryder Cup captain Davis Love III will be mic'd up for sound during the opening round. And of course, for live scoring and exclusive video from Torrey Pines, log on to PGATour.com.